Hey, folks, welcome to InTheMoneyStocks.com's live trading action video. My name is Gareth Soloway, Chief Market Strategist here. Today's date is Tuesday, December 6th, 2016. I want to talk a little bit about the financials because, I mean, let's be honest. These things have had a run of epic proportion. You're looking at the Goldman Sachs chart. If I zoom out on this thing, I mean, look at this. This was $175 at the beginning of November. So literally one month ago, it was $175. It's now $231 dollars per share. We're talking about a move of, you know, literally this was a 250 billion dollar market cap company and it's gained 30, 35, whatever, maybe even, I don't know, maybe 40% now. I don't know, it's probably about 35, but uh, absolutely incredible. But the point is is it starting to top out? And I do have signs that are telling me it's beginning to, and you might not be able to tell. Like Average investors aren't going to be able to tell these type of things. This is something you need a trained eye for. And one of the things that I saw today was very different than yesterday and all the previous days. So if you look at uh, two days ago, so these are this is the intraday chart. So this is yesterday, and this is today. All of this is today. So if you look at yesterday, you saw a gap up and a buy, right? So you saw the volume. Look at the volume there. It's heavier than the rest of the day, right? And that was buy side action. So that tells us that that decent amounts of larger investors were buying Goldman Sachs yesterday. But look at today. Today it gapped up and then sold off on heavy, heavy volume right there. And that's telling me institutional traders were selling into the initial uh, gap up. Now notice how as the volume got lighter, the stock started to float up. Now, as you can see here, towards the end of the day, the volumes begin to creep up a little bit, and you're starting to see some selling pressure. And even with the markets very much at the highs of the day here uh, in the late afternoon, we are not seeing Goldman back to those highs. So the key is here. Listen, this isn't an end-all, be-all. This isn't like, oh, this one signal is the obvious sell signal on the financials. What I'm telling you here is you're beginning to see an unwinding of positions from institutional investors, meaning the, the big money. And usually the big money are the correct side of the trade. They're going to be on the correct side. And you can see this with Bank of America early in the day too, although Bank of America has gone back to the highs of the day. But look at this. Look at the gap up today and look at the hell, the sell side action. on. Look at the volume. The candle is the biggest volume day of any day in the past history in quite a while. So again, that's big money selling and then big money shuts off the spigot. They turn off the, f the, f the fire hose and then the little investor buys it back up, which is exactly what the institutions want, right? Because they have more to unload. Trust me when I say when institutions unloaded here, they weren't unloading 100% of their position. There's no way they could uh, in one day alone, let alone in one 10-minute candle. So you're going to see this probably over the next couple days. We actually took advantage of this in the intraday stock chat today and made a beautiful short trade on this. We shorted right here at the open and held it and just covered right down here. I mean, this was just picture perfect in terms of a trade. And I'm going to tell you this, if, if BAC gaps up tomorrow, I'm going to do it again. Because you're going to see this every day. According to what I'm seeing, you're going to see this every day until these stocks start to trade lower and pull back. So any sort of gap up tomorrow, look to short the opening print you know, on the gap up of 20, 30 cents, whatever it is, and then ride it down back to basically the flat line. Then after the first or second candle, you probably do want to sell, uh, get out of it, cover your short, because most likely then the, the small investor will slowly like, bid it up. Okay, so again, this is just one of those tidbits that that very very useful to have in your repertoire of trading tactics. And again, I'm giving it to you here. You can see it on all these financials today. Big money selling and small investors once the volume got lighter, floating them back up. All right, folks, just another little tidbit. Join us at InTheMoneyStocks.com. Take the seven day free trial. Seven day free trial to InTheMoneyStocks.com's research center. Get live swing trades, profit with us. We'll talk to you soon. Take care.